Hey, welcome back to the Gospel of Luke. We are at chapter 11, verse 42 to 44. We're now going to look at the couple of woes here. So here we have the first one. Let's read it. But woe to you Pharisees, for you tithe mint and rue and every herb and neglect justice and the love of God. These you ought to have done without neglecting the others. Woe to you Pharisees, for you love the best seed in the synagogues and greetings in the marketplaces. Woe to you. For you were like unmarked graves, and people walk over them without knowing it. It's the corrupt inside that nothing good can come out of. It's out of the heart that come adulteries and murders and those things. So we need to be transformed from the from the heart outward. And they're tithing. They're even parsing out the little seeds. You know, I do a little bit of microgreens, uh, and I raise microgreens on a on a shelf, grow shelf in my in my office. And there's some of these seeds are very tiny. Broccoli seeds are very tiny. But what these guys were doing was counting out the seeds and making sure every tenth seed was was tithed. Well, that would take a little while, I can tell you that, with some of these broccoli seeds. But you're you're counting out your seeds, and they were doing this. I mean, this was meticulous work. I could tell you that would take a while. Guess what? Jesus says, all these outward things you're doing, if your heart isn't in it, then what? Then it's useless. It's not going to get you anywhere. And I don't. We wouldn't tithe to have God's spiritual uh, approval. But it's something we should do. Jesus says, you know, this is a proper thing. You, you, tithing has never gone away. There's still a, re a requirement. It's still, God still owns everything. It's still good for my heart to return 10% back to him. But what Jesus is telling us here is that there's a lot of things that are done for outward show that maybe they impress some other person, but they certainly don't impress God because they're not coming from the heart. He says they're neglecting justice and the love of God justice and the love of God. We hear a lot today about justice, but a lot of that is is a really twisted up idea of justice. But justice is a Bible idea. When we go to the Bible and find God's idea of justice, yes, that's important. But these people, although they had the outward signs, although they looked pious, although people all looked up at them, these are our, you know, top spiritual people. They might have had that, but guess what? Jesus says these top spiritual people are neglecting justice and in love? How can you be a top spiritual person and neglect love? But they're neglecting the love. What kind of love? They're not neglecting self-love. They're neglecting the love of God. So without the, the Holy Spirit living on the inside, they didn't have any love to express out into the outside. So we need to be changed on the inside, and God is glad to do that for us. He says, you ought to have done these things, but you shouldn't have neglected justice and the love of God. So be careful of religion that that doesn't truly reflect a Bible picture of the love of God. So in 43, he says, you guys, you know, you want the best seat in the synagogue. You know, people can all look and say, oh, look, there's those pious people. They're very pious because they're sitting in the front row. Well, not necessarily. They want the pious places and greetings in the marketplaces, this outward spiritual show happening when they are out in public and going around like Mr. Mr. Piety. Jesus says none of that's going to really matter. What matters is what's going on in your heart. So for, for God's sake, for his kingdom's sake, let him, let him work in us and transform us from the inside out. I say it again. If you're not transformed this morning from the inside out, then you're not transformed at all. And there will not be any, any fragment of the justice of God or of the love of God will not be operating through you out into the world. The world will miss your witness for God's goodness, because you don't have any of that to give. Let, let us pray that God will transform us and that we won't be outwardly costumed as spiritual people, but inwardly corrupt. Let us pray. Dear Father in heaven, thank you, Lord, for hearing our prayers. We come to you yet again, another morning, another day. And just as bankrupt and spiritually broke as before, we come before you, Lord, because you have what we need. You alone alone you can transform us. We can't transform ourselves, but if we give ourselves to you, Lord, if you help us to be willing to be made willing, then I know you can transform. Change our hearts. Prepare us for this day. Witness through us in the many ways you do it through this day. We thank you, Lord, for hearing our prayers and letting us ask for you to do these things and even to use us. And now we thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. May he bless you this day in his vineyard.